What is your name? My name is Landon. How old are you? I'm 10. We have the ability to impact lives in a way that we can't even imagine right now. So Landon's Projects is all about bringing the community together. Do not discount your child just because they are on the spectrum. So they see the world, feel the world, and experience the world differently than we do. Tuesday morning, Baltimore Ravens defensive tackle Justin Matubike carried boxes of sensory-friendly toys and devices into Westport Academy Elementary and Middle School. A landed, and it's a puzzle piece one, so anyone can stay calm and relax and patient. What is your name? My name is Landon. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. When is your birthday? October 3rd. What do you like to do for fun? I like to play. My name is Lauren Smith, and I am Landon's mother. My name is Christopher Smith, and I'm his dad. Uh, Benito of Atlanta, and I am Landon's grandfather. When we found out Landon was diagnosed uh, with, uh, as a child with autism, uh, quite honestly, we just didn't know what the future lied at all. Uh, over the past six years, we've watched a dramatic shift from not knowing what his future looked like to an amazingly brighter future with him speaking and sharing his ideas and thoughts. And I quite honestly just thought, you know, how many other Landons are there out there in our community? So autism means to me the ability on how you receive information, interpret information, and then react to that information throughout your daily life. The spectrum is absolutely immersive with people of all ranges of abilities. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Am I so? Oh, I like to make some ideas to use my imagination. What is your name? Brianna. What do you love most about your brother? About his puzzle pieces and that he loves me. Landon's puzzle pieces started out just as a, as a way to start sharing things with other individuals that needed uh, some support. But from that, it's expanded to what we're calling in Washington County, Landon's Project. And Landon's Project is a, is a partnership between public and private public school and the private sector to work together to look at our community and these unique learners we're calling them to find ways to uh, make sure the resources are available not only in the school but outside in the community. My name is Jennifer Webster and I'm an associate superintendent for Washington County Public Schools. My role in Landon's project is to stay connected to our school-based teachers and leaders who work with our students with special needs every day. We want to make sure that this project really reflects what the current needs are in our schools to best serve our students who are such exceptional, unique learners, and to make sure that what we're doing is really making sure that they reach their maximum potential. I'm Dave Savan, Superintendent of Washington County Public Schools. When I think of Landon's project and, and my role, it's uh, all about collaborating with Benito and, and facilitating conversations with key community leaders, uh, business leaders, as well as the healthcare community, and rallying their support around this initiative. As a, as a parent, you have dreams and um, hopes for your children when you're pregnant with them, when you are when they're babies, you know, you're, you're dreaming of this life and world and then you receive a diagnosis and you don't know if that's a reality, if that's even in touch with what could be possible. And so over the last six years, having Landon have the resources, have the, have the therapies, have different items that help him has propelled him into this young man that is just blossoming with potential. And now we've watched him really unlock and his whole, he is such a character. Um, he's a person that has, he's a young person that just has a lot to share. He's, he's energetic and 
as I've watched him grow into this 10 year old, uh, I think the greatest part is his emotions, his feelings. What is your superpower? My superpower is helping people with to stay people calm and patient. Once we have a diagnosis of autism, it really just tells us more about the student and helps us to understand what their needs are and tell us a little bit more about who they are as a person. When I think of the potential impact of Landon's project, I, I can't help but make a connection to the significant impact that the Maryland Theater has had on this community. It certainly serves as a gem of Hagerstown, and I believe Landon's project has the potential to surpass that and serve as the shining star of Washington County. Students are going to excel in different ways. That the typical things that we look for in, in how students interact in school, students with autism may interact in typical ways or they may not. And there may be some ways that are actually quite exceptional and pretty powerful. When I think of Landon's project and the need here, not only in Washington County, but across the state of Maryland and the nation, this has great potential. I think it's amazing that there are, um, there are people in the school system and in the community that are seeing a need and rising up to the opportunity to fulfill it. Uh, what have you learned from your personal experience you feel other parents should know? Mm, just love them the way they are and, and look for every opportunity to help them. What would you tell other parents who are raising children on the spectrum? I'd hug them and I would tell them that they're going to do great and that they are their kid's voice. And I think this project, Land's Project, is all about helping recreate the concept of what a community can do together. And I think about what if we're successful at making Landon's Project an amazing path forward.